Now check your understanding by answering these questions. Read the question carefully and pick your answer. Move on to the next slide. You can pause the video and take your time. Read this question and pick your answer. Again, pause the video and take your time to answer the question. Third question. Pick your answer. All right, now if you want to see the answers, how these questions are worked out, continue watching. The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of m kilograms of water through a temperature difference of delta theta is mass times specific heat times change in temperature our mass is 100 gram you need to write that in kilogram the specific heat of water is 4200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin and the change in temperature is 100 degrees Celsius minus 10 degrees Celsius that is 90 degrees Celsius so we put those values there that will be mass is 0.1 kilogram 100 gram is 0.1 kilogram specific heat of water is 4200 joules per kilogram per kelvin and the change in temperature is 100 minus 10 that is 90. now work out this multiplication and see if you get 37,800 joules all right let's check the second question Latent heat of steam is 2.26 times 10 to the 6 joules per kilogram. What is the amount of heat liberated when 100 gram of steam condenses to form water? When a gas condenses to form liquid, heat is liberated. When a liquid becomes vapor, the latent heat is absorbed. Now, what is the equation for the amount of heat either absorbed or liberated during that change of state? The change of state. The amount of heat liberated in this case is mass multiplied by latent heat and that will be mass is 100 gram 0.1 kilogram times latent heat of vaporization is 2.26 times 10 to the 6 joules per kilogram and that is 2.26 times 10 to the 5 joules next question the nutrition information on a packet of cereal reads calories per serving 60 how many kilogram of water can be heated from 20 degrees celsius to 60 degrees celsius using this energy you must have one more information here what is that the specific heat of water and you know we have already used it as 4200 joules per kilogram per kelvin 
So, first of all, 60 food calories is 60,000 regular calories because one food calorie is a kilo calorie, it's a thousand regular calories. And each calorie is 4.2 joules. So 60,000 calories is 60,000 multiplied by 4.2, that is 252,000 joules. That information is very important. You must learn how to do these kind of simple problems. So, the total heat is 252,000 joules. The question is, how many kilograms of water can be heated from 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius using this amount of heat? So, we start by saying that, let M be the mass of water in kilogram. Then, the heat needed to raise the temperature of m kilogram of water from 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius is mass times specific heat times change in temperature. Mass is m, specific heat we know 4200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin and the change in temperature is 60 minus 20 that is 40. So that will be m times mass times specific heat of water times the change in temperature. Now multiply 4200 by 40 you get 168,000 and you can see the unit joules per kilogram Kelvin multiplied by Kelvin will be joules per kilogram. Kelvin will cancel. So that will be 168,000 M joules per kilogram. Now this quantity, 168,000 M joules per kilogram, is equal to 252,000 joules, isn't it? That's correct, so we write that. And now we have an equation we solve for M. How do you solve for M? Divide both sides by 168,000. So we get M equal to 252,000 joules divided by 168,000 joules per kilogram. And you can see joules and joules will cancel. The kilogram will go up. So the result is 1.5 kilogram. All right, practice these questions.